Beckham. Welcome to Adult Beverage Friday. <clears throat> Adult Beverage Friday, guys. <clears throat> Although I didn't have much. I didn't have much adult beverages, but <clears throat> we don't need that much. How are you doing, my friends? <clears throat> so as you know, I have to cut down on the music when I'm uh, on YouTube because... Uh, Hello, YouTube. And who do we have on YouTube? Rex. Rex on YouTube. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hello, Demo K42. <clears throat> so, uh, any uh, anybody else on YouTube? If you're on YouTube, Rex is also here. Rexzilla Monster. <laughs> Rex changed the name again. <clears throat> Rex changed the name again. So. Come on, people. Come on in. Come on in. I don't bite. I don't bite. Hello, Patricia CRW. Hello, Moira. Some people are changing names or just different names of people I already know. Flea of Six. Flea, Flea Fo Six. Hello, Moira. So, uh, hello, S. Monroe 420. Hello, T. Louise. <clears throat> So, so, hello, lighting up his back. Hey, Flea. So, I took out the background so, so it's not distracting for uh, Monkey Man and for Wee Fu Can. I don't want to hear any complaints about the background. So, I'm sick and tired of hearing complaints about the background. So, there. No background. <clears throat> you don't like the background? Then zuck the background. We'll get rid of it. <clears throat> hello, Lars. Yeah, so black crown. So, you know, I get complaints. I put a background on, I complain. I take the background off, they complain. It's like, suck. <clears throat> Thank you, Moira. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll am I'm. talk about that in, uh, in more detail here. <clears throat> Love the new Twitter banner. Well, that's the same as the YouTube banner. <clears throat> Thank you and lighten up. Hello, Mario. Super heart Mario. Once again, number one super fan. Are you number one super fan right now, Mario? Lately, it's been uh, between you and Great Gold going up and down. That must be new too. Then, yes, they're all new. I've you know been busy, busy trying to make new things here, <clears throat> trying to change. Yes, you know it's such a, a funny thing. It's such a funny thing, you know, making the making the YouTube videos and just realizing the style. You're number two right now, Mario. Zog Mario. You're losing ground. Mario's like been number one for ages. <clears throat> Holidays must have gotten you, Mario. Put stars in the black round. <clears throat> um, hello, Snarky. So, so uh, yeah. So wh when I when I experienced like, uh, are, yes, I am on YouTube right now, and you can see comments on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can leave a comment. I can see it. So we're also broadcasting on Brax at Me. We're we're uh, hello Snarky. We're we're uh, on. Uh, if you uh, if you don't count uh, Twitch, I mean sorry, if you don't count Twitter, we're on four flat four platforms. If you count Twitter, then we're on five platforms. Let's see what channel am I on? On on Brax, I'm on Pirate. Zuckbook is selling our info. Yes, Brad, go uh, look at it on uh, YouTube. <clears throat> so, yes, follow me, Rob Braxman, on YouTube, or subscribe, I guess it's a term. <clears throat> subscribe on YouTube. I, I need to get my subscribers up. I don't usually ask for things like subscriptions but or follows. I certainly don't ask for follows here on uh, on Periscope, but it's a little harder to get it on YouTube, so... So I have a measly 238 followers on on, on uh, YouTube, and I need help, folks, because you you want to see my content, and I have content to show you, because I have been making content that is specific to YouTube. This oh I'm up to 240 now. Okay, people, just so you understand, the content I'm putting on YouTube is not my live stream. Okay. <laughs> The content I'm putting on YouTube is not the same as my live stream. So if you're not 
subscribing to my YouTube account, you will miss out because I'm not going to, it's not going to be the same thing. So I'm treating YouTube as a completely different animal. So, uh, yes, I'm live, uh, Brad. <clears throat> Thanks for being on YouTube, Brad. Yeah, so, so if you're not subscribing to me on YouTube, you will get a different content from the one I give on Periscope. Because I will explain. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course, Levendi. Nothing new there. I don't know why. What? Why you think there's, that's all that new? But we'll talk about it if you want. Uh, <clears throat> platform B. Well, platform the the uh, two platforms that I'm you know paying serious attention to is YouTube versus uh, versus um, <clears throat> um, Periscope primarily. And for those of you who are like, you know, VIP broadcasters, you might be interested in getting a little bit of my feedback on, on what this is all about and if this works or not. And I have, I have, uh, I had a lot of learning to do. You know, people are saying, hey, go to YouTube and you can, you know, be successful on YouTube just like, hello, Night Eyes, and you can be successful on YouTube just like you're successful on Periscope. And I'm going to tell you, it doesn't work like that. It's a completely different animal. It's a completely different animal. <clears throat> YouTube is, uh, I enlarged the font on, uh, on uh, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark on YouTube. Uh, I enlarged the font. I'll make the, the font even larger back to the, the old way. What's... Uh, what about what? What's all about? What's it all about, Alfie? That's wrong spelling of Alfie, Brad. Alfie is not spelled like that. That's Alfie. I didn't subscribe on YouTube because all it had listed was videos of yours from one year ago. Maui, that's the wrong account. It's so Rob Braxman with a photo. The other one does not have a photo of me. So howdy, people are on YouTube. TR Fun Guy. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, I can't control. It as uh, uh, it assigns a different color to every user. So, you know, it's if I enlarge the font, it will uh, it will actually work. Hello from Whiskey Tango, he Whiskey Tango. I'm glad that people are watching me on YouTube. So get my numbers up on YouTube. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. So I'm gonna explain this, and this is gonna be valuable comment. This is gonna be valuable comment. Well, it won't suck when I enlarge the font. People were just complaining the font were too was too big Brax has launched live yes Brax is also live Brax is also live so we are uh, looking at comments con uh, content or comments from Brax from uh, uh, Donzo and Spirit Gamers on uh, on Brax uh, and EJ and uh, and uh, and then we got all those people on YouTube and we got people on Periscope now let me just say this it's a completely different platform. I have to tell you that as a live streaming platform, I don't know. I, I don't know if YouTube is actually going to be, uh, you know, workable for many of us from Periscope as a live streaming platform. It's really not, it's not really conducive to live streaming. It just doesn't have that kind of feel. So, so uh, it's very hard to interact on on uh, on YouTube, uh, it's even like uh, there's like a slight delay in, in the comments, uh, and it's a different animal when you combine it with your live videos. Um, uh, hello, Bobber. <clears throat> let me just tell uh, let me just tell you so just some of the uh, not very user friendly. I prefer the Periscope chat to YouTube chat. Yes, Bobber. So, <clears throat> how you doing, Bobber? Thanks for coming by, Barbara. But, but you, you, you know, this is an important comment for, for people. Add Zuckbook Live. No, I will not add Zuckbook Live. So, Jess Baza. But for those of you who are broadcasters and are interested to see what my opinion is, it's, it's really a completely different animal. I'm going to tell you something that's really, really different between YouTube and, uh, and Periscope. You know, with Periscope, we're focused on the comments. So we're actually, you know, I got a uh, complaint from Waxman that I was not looking at the camera 
I, I was looking at the camera instead of paying attention to your comments. And Waxman was like saying, you're such a bad broadcaster, you're a sucking moron, because you're not looking at the comments, you're looking at the camera. Okay, well, as you know, on Periscope, I got to focus on the comments. On YouTube, you have to look at the camera because you look zucked up if you don't look at the camera on YouTube. It, it really does suck. You don't look. Uh, you don't look like. Uh, you don't look like you're uh, you're uh, uh, legit on YouTube if you're not looking at the camera. Now that's a problem because how do you look at the camera and read the comments? So you know I have to come up with a strategy of looking up and down and such. And it's uh, and try doing a YouTube video doing that and it does not work. So I had to come up with a teleprompter concept and it took me like you know. Uh, all day to figure out how am I going to do a video because I looked at my videos and I'm constantly looking down because I'm reading a script and I got to look down and read and then I got to do this and then my head is bobbing up and down and I got to memorize the lines and it's like uh, it's such a different thing from from uh, from the freedom of live streaming live streaming uh, live streaming is awesome I just zucking talk I can screw up, say something uh, wrong, correct myself, and come back and say, "Hey, uh, I said that wrong. Let me correct it now." And let me tell you, when I when I do it on uh, YouTube, I can't do it like that. YouTube has got to be precise, and you, you know, I got to condense everything into five six minutes. You know what takes here? What takes an hour and a half here? Because we're we're doing interaction. I wouldn't worry too much about what the crazy waxman says. Everybody has their own style. Well, he's right on Periscope. For Periscope, that is the style, but it doesn't work on YouTube. So the thing is that, you know, it's just... Uh, so so if, you, if you start to understand the difference in platforms, you, 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 you know, I'm multicasting right now, right? And I'm not really, you know, banking on the multicasting being a big deal on 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 YouTube other than to keep a copy of my video. <clears throat> but as far as, you know, my interaction, it's going to be on Periscope. So I, I decided that what I'm going to do is not to worry too much about my live streaming and its effect on YouTube because on YouTube, I'm actually going to be making videos. So I made three videos so far and I have material for uh, many, many, many videos. In fact, I've already pre-scripted uh, at least two more and I can pre-script as many as I want and I it, if you make it big if I make it big what I forgot <clears throat> that disappeared way too fast when I looked down so I'm gonna be making YouTube videos and you will find a different value to the YouTube videos and you see I have a couple on there now you will find a different value to my YouTube videos because it's it's scripted meaning it's more concise and you can go back and forth and replay the specific instructions you don't have to go through uh two hours of uh periscope to find out what i said now the advantage of periscope is here we can interact and you can ask me questions in detail that i can't do on twitter i mean on on youtube so there will be a, an advantage to having both so so Tonight, I'm, I'm going to talk about one of the things I did on Twitter, I mean on YouTube, which is uh, uh, Passwords 101. And we're going to talk about it here tonight in detail. You can ask me questions because some of them are, are, are uh, a bit more vague. If you haven't seen the Passwords video on YouTube, please follow me on YouTube, Rob Braxman. I watched several of your videos on YouTube. Thank you. Not guilty. They do it. So so anyway, um, I'm, uh, it's going to be a completely different strategy. I actually set up a, a separate space in my house to do the YouTube videos. And I'm going to do it during the daytime. And, uh, and if this is going to be very important for me to work on. It's something that I am really focused on. You will find that I will actually take, take uh, a serious effort in making these videos. It's not just going to be like, you know, me talking here in free form. I'm actually, you know, laying out the arguments in advance and writing it out. So please follow me. If you're not following me on YouTube, you might miss out on this content because what, what I'm going to be doing from now on is actually, uh, um, you know, coming here to, uh, to, uh, to uh, um, Periscope 
and explaining the short vi videos that I'm going to make on YouTube. We're going to go into detail here. Oh, Go Rice Girls here. Hello, Go Rice Girl. So we're going to uh, change the style. So anyway, again, back to, to again, uh, to address the, uh, the uh, Periscope VIPs, you know, I found that uh, YouTube is such a different experience and, and it's very, very hard to, you can't really take what we do on Periscope and put it on YouTube uh, or any other platform, I don't think. You, you know, Periscope is really unique. It's really absolutely unique. I mean, it's just nothing like it. I mean, Brax Me can work like Periscope, but let me tell you, uh, YouTube is not, hello, go rice girl. Uh, YouTube is not Periscope. You can't really interact in the same way. It just doesn't work. And you got to take a completely different approach. So again, to, to, uh, to uh, uh, repeat what I just said, I'm going to treat my YouTube content to be separate from Periscope content. My YouTube content, will I'm making new videos, and I've already made a few, and I'll be making some more. And there will not be live stream. I am still broadcasting my live stream, uh, but uh, I'm still broadcasting my, my live stream, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to be, uh, uh, making separate videos with separate content and you will come to appreciate what I do on on YouTube because it will be much more concise and easy to remember and you can share it uh, which is very very difficult to do with uh, Periscope so I, it's kind of a different audience how do you share my zucking video it's very hard to share a video because it's like who's gonna watch you for three hours of of broadcasting here that's not what this is for so we need to understand what periscope is for periscope is here to actually engage and ask questions in my case since i'm teaching you this is why the title is teach and by the way nelly teach tech is the same thing you're in the same category on uh, on uh, the channel what do you put teach or you put tech you come out on the same category which is teach tech is actually translated to teach so Share with impatient friends. Yes. So, but it's to the point people are not going to be, you know, expecting a long explanation of why. Why should I leave Zuckbook? Then I just made a video. Here, this is why you should leave Zuckbook. So then you, you have the, uh, the facts, the facts uh, you know, organized in, in a clear way, briefly, and you don't have to scan for hours in a video to figure it out. So, so again, what we're going to do is consider Periscope to be our way to have an exchange and uh and youtube will be uh, the more precise uh things that i don't have to keep repeating and uh, i'm finding that uh, the video will be a better explanation than my website what the zuck.net okay what the zuck.net thank you snarky what the zuck.net is is uh doesn't have the visibility because of search engines a, a website doesn't have the visibility unless you have it attached to a youtube video not live stream youtube video okay so my live stream on youtube is just for reference it's really not it's not going to affect my search ability on youtube it's not going to affect anything so i have to focus on uh, i have to focus on uh, the two different approaches here on periscope interact with you and ask, have you asked a question I harvest your video data and rebroadcast it in three known galaxies. The YouTube vids are great for info without distraction. Thank you, Danza. Thank you. For sheep? <laughs> so, so, <clears throat> so again, uh, because you are thinking that I will have similar content on YouTube than uh, compared to here, uh, uh, it's not going to be the case. So uh, I, I recommend that you please follow me. Follow me on YouTube so that you, you actually... Uh, appreciate the, the different content that you will find it will be different so and it's already happening so this is going to be I, I, i'm going to spend a good amount of my time making these videos so uh, so please follow me or subscribe to me on on youtube if you're not if youtube live uh, gosh the comments are flowing too fast on youtube and and uh okay i just shared to all platforms yeah, so please, uh, please follow me, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I only have a measly, what, 243 f subscribers, which is like a joke. I have 32,000 on, on Periscope. What Google to get correct account, it doesn't matter. Rob Braxman, just type Rob Braxman and, and uh, you find the one with a picture that says Rob Braxman on top. 
<clears throat> I have two accounts. One is Rob Braxman and one is Rob Braxman. And I can't change the other one yet. I'll change it later. But I'm not able to change it right now. But the, 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 uh, I'm trying to clean up my accounts and, and uh, I couldn't figure it out. And I may, may made, a, made a mistake because I named my channel the same as the other account. So I'll figure it out later on. So uh, anyway, again, for, if you're just coming in, please f uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. Otherwise, you will miss out on the new content I'm going to be posting on YouTube. I'm going to Brax. It doesn't drain your battery. I don't know. Does YouTube drain your battery? Does YouTube drain your battery? Okay, so, so it, in my estimation, you have to treat YouTube as a separate animal. Uh, mind you, I do not have, I do not have any kind of organic following on YouTube. Every single subscriber I have on YouTube is from Periscope. So I have 243 subscribers, all from Periscope. It is very difficult to get a presence on YouTube to be actually get searched. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to show up. Maybe random. I may have to make like 50 million videos before eventually I show up on there. Because it's the second largest search engine in the world. But the problem is it's kind of random. Somebody actually, you know, just to show you the value of uh, of YouTube. Uh, YouTube. I don't really have Braxme videos of any, you know, of, of with any serious kind of explanation on YouTube. None. And somebody actually, uh, some months ago, uh, a few people joined Braxme from YouTube. And I said, where'd you come from? I was talking to them. Where'd you come from? Uh, are you from Periscope? And they said, no. What is Periscope? They didn't even know what Periscope was. And so where did you come from? How did you find out about Brax? And they said, YouTube. And I was like, what? They searched for Brax Me or they found Brax Me a reference on YouTube? And I don't have, even have much of a following on YouTube. So I'm realizing I'm making a mistake by not having a, a, uh, uh, a marketing plan that includes YouTube and what I do. It's, it's a bad thing. So even to get people on Periscope, I got to have YouTube. So that's a suggestion I make to the rest of you. Somebody actually also contacted me on, on, uh, on Brax, joined Brax, and contacted me about buying a Tor router. <laughs> and buying a Tor router. <clears throat> and I'm like, uh, yes, my comments appear in the video. So I'm like, uh, how did you find out about the Tor router? And this person said, YouTube. And I said, I don't have any YouTube videos on Tor routers. How did they do it? And, and so it just shows you, you can't ignore YouTube. The good news, people, is I have tested YouTube. I have tested YouTube, uh, you know, uh, extensively. And it's not really tracking you. Everything it does seems to be temporary. And as long as you're using um, a privacy badger on a, on a computer and using a VPN on a, uh, on a uh, uh, mobile and you can go to activity controls and delete YouTube history when you want and delete your cookies. And when I do, it forgets me. Hello, Emma Deer. How are you doing, my friend? It does forget me. It, it, it does do a good job of forgetting me. And I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, I'm happy to say it's not really tracking me like Zuckbook. It's not really tracking me like Zuckbook. So, so, which is good because, you know, a lot of us like to use YouTube. And, and I, I'm happy to say that the danger is not in YouTube itself. The danger is in all the advertising that tracks you when you are on any platform, including YouTube. Okay, so it's, it's erasable history. I've tested it and, uh, and stuff I was looking at a year ago don't even come up. Just to show you. Uh, stuff I did a year ago doesn't come up. Stuff I did a month ago doesn't even come up. Okay, my double chin, they're not testicles. <laughs> Somebody said these are testicles. It's like, make up your mind. Is it like uh, a zucking zass or what? What is this? <clears throat> First day on Periscope. Here, here, here comes the crowd. Here comes the crowd. Here comes the crowd. They're like, uh, they're, they're here for, the, uh, they're here for the, uh, the squash. So we don't really care about the squash on uh, play some ASMR, some cooking show, cats do some minecraft that's on twitch 
uh hello pats fan hey they're flooding in of course well they flooded in briefly and they left so th they didn't stay for long anyway <clears throat> okay so uh uh if you have any questions about youtube i'm gonna switch topics but uh you know i i just want to make sure that uh you know i i get my uh my opinion about youtube uh uh again uh uh yeah, I, I, I got like, you know, four followers from uh, this broadcast. So come on, follow me on YouTube. I, I, like, I don't like acting like Alex Pettit. But, you know, on YouTube, there's this guy, Pewdie PewDiePie. PewDiePie on YouTube is like uh, sucking like the Alex Pettit of YouTube. It's like the most popular person on YouTube. It's like videos with like millions of viewers. PewDiePie, yes. And somebody actually spammed me on my broadcast. Can we post stuff on my my uh, black screen? Yes, of course. That's why I posted. That's why I posted some uh, some squash. Uh, he is king of YouTube. Yes, he is the king of YouTube. It's like he is what Alex Pettit uh, uh, aims for. He wants to be the PewDiePie. Makes millions now. Yeah, he wants to be the PewDiePie of uh, of YouTube, and has been doing it like apparently for like you know over a decade so it's hard work hard work to be doing that so anyway <clears throat> wow it just uh, the the stuff appeared on uh, he doesn't have to make another video and make residual income can you specify where the youtube comments appear on the video yes i can move it around so so here we are broadcasting right now i'm going to move the comments on the left okay make your youtube comments going to show up on the left now and you can size the font and all that. So now the comments on YouTube are now on the left. So it's it's uh, it's really uh, it's really up to me. I can size the the font a little bit larger. I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, uh, I can do it right now. So let me see. I can make the font larger. Hold on. Let's make the font a little bit larger here. Okay, there. So tr tr try it now. Type some uh, text on, uh, I'm using Streamlabs and you can put the comments in. There you go. I, you can put the comments in on Streamlabs and you can put Periscope comments if you do not have a phone number account. Like, m I, I can't do it. My account is not a phone number based. You can also do Twitch comments. So, you could, in theory, put Twitch comments on the left and YouTube on the right. Put Periscope on the left, you know, whatever, whatever combination you want. You can do it using Streamlabs. That's the, uh, that's the broadcast uh, encoder I'm using. I'm not. Uh, you can use OBS. OBS doesn't have this. Streamlabs has it. Streamlabs is called Streamlabs OBS. So this is a another version of OBS. It's uh, it's from the open source version of OBS. Okay. Scopers can't reply to YouTubers. Yeah, but we can. Of course you can. Yeah, the, the YouTubers can't see your comments, but you can see their comments. I, as a broadcaster, can see everything. So, so it, is, it is possible uh, to... Uh, it is possible to... Uh, okay, but you still have to type their entire name, no reply button. Uh, no, there's no... No, not, that's why Periscope is still the king. Uh, nice bookcases. <laughs> uh, 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 Periscope is still the king of uh, of uh, you know live streaming. There's there's no doubt. I, I'm uh, I'm uh, I you know I may I understand the value of Periscope. It's uh, I wish per Periscope people actually understood why they're different because this is not the same as Facebook Live or YouTube or Twitch. It's different. It's really made for this more personal kind of thing. And if Periscope just understands that, they can actually change the app to promote that even more rather than doing all this stuff that they do and trending and all that that just doesn't do it. They're trying to attract like the wrong kind of crowd here, like corporate this and that, and it's just not, not, uh, it auto pops the name somehow after you use the, uh, and start typing in your name. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, Joanne. <clears throat> So it does do something. Okay, I'm not familiar with the with the com I've I I don't know how to use the comments uh uh in a fancy way on YouTube. But you can actually 
you can actually uh, uh, you can actually on YouTube you can uh, uh, you can have it do uh, egg drop like stuff you know like filter words and all that that you can do on YouTube and you can't do that on Periscope okay so that's a difference May maybe change your YouTube username for privacy <laughs> Uh, why? <clears throat> she has the same name everywhere. Your PSA videos are great. Keep them coming. I will keep them coming. They are coming. Starlight. Okay, so maybe you covered this, but I bet you're feeling affirmed this evening. Maybe you covered this, but I bet you're feeling affirmed this evening. Your editing skills are great. Th well, no, no, I did not have any editing skills. I learned that in a in a day. I you know I learned how to do it. You're in a Brax laptop. I learned how to do it, people. It's not. It's. <laughs> I mean, YouTube is a completely different animal. It's a completely different animal. I had to relearn everything. You know, everyone who's a periscoper and wants to go do learn YouTube, you know, watch this scope. You're you're gonna have to understand when you do. L let me just talk about. Uh, I'm using Adobe Rush for my editing. Editing, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's a fire for using software uh, to manipulate terms. Yes, Kelp. Yes, uh, that's already something I told you about. You said, "Oh, that's not going to happen. They're not going to manipulate videos." So you learn to render in one day. I, yes, uh, Starlight. I, I, uh, I learn how to do it. Uh, you know, I have used iMovie and so on. It was very difficult to do this. Um, and and I used the Adobe Premiere Elements. Uh, you know, initially I was just using OBS. And it's just difficult to do all of that. And you need a more serious tool. So I, uh, <coughs> I use Adobe Rush, which is very buggy. Lots and lots of bugs. So it was even more difficult to use. As I just let me just tell you kind of quickly, quickly some of the issues that I found. Uh, no, you, there's, uh, why would uh, YouTube ban squash? Is squash illegal? Uh, no, Premiere Pro is not the best. The best one for my purposes is Adobe Rush. Adobe Rush. <clears throat> okay, so so let me just tell you this. If you're going to make a YouTube video, I'm going to tell you stuff that you you just you can't just go you know do it like extemporaneously like like Periscope easily because uh you have to script it. Otherwise, you're going to go on for hours and people are just going to get bored. So in order to do it right, then you have to do what do you do with the green screen? Do you need a green screen? Do you not? What about lighting? What about the camera? The resolution is higher, so you need a fancier camera. Uh, the lighting affects that. What about the microphone? All the equipment stuff. Some people use DSLRs to do uh, broadcasting. I can't. I, I you know I don't want to budget for another DSLR because my old DSLR, I have a Nikon uh, from a you know just a few years back and it's already obsolete for doing videos i can't use it for this i can't use it for uh, a squash is not safe for work <clears throat> are you serious i can't use it for i can't use it uh, i can't use it for for uh, for doing videos so i've already learned that uh, you know certain cameras are not good Certain cameras have, you know, minimal capabilities. If you want to go like fancy with the broadcast, then you have to get some sort of Canon or Sony. You can't even use a Nikon for video because video uh, Nikon is not good for video. I didn't know that. So expensive Nikon cameras with uh, I got a ton of Nikon lenses doesn't work. Doesn't work. So, you know, I've, do I need to spend another thousand some dollars on, on a camera to do fancy stuff? So we're just going to deal with this. I got myself a, uh, a new camera. Uh, uh, I'm broadcasting using a uh, Logitech C922, which is uh, kind of the current, you know, top of the line webcam camera, which is not good enough, but it's good enough for our purposes. Uh, but it's not, it's not good enough for video. 
it's good enough for live live streaming it's not good enough for video so that's you know kind of stuff you have to learn the other thing is when you're broadcasting on youtube you have to look at that zucking camera in the zucking eye i have learned this i did not know this i was doing these videos trying to read my script you know to see what i'm going to say read my script in the computer so i was looking down like this and then looking up and it looks awful on video awful so what i had to do was this i had to like talk to the camera like this uh pause look down read it think about what i'm gonna say you know uh p push my head up again and then talk and then i had to cut all that and there was so much cutting to do so the it was time consuming to do it and the the solution the solution uh that i i was told uh, is the best is to use a teleprompter so i had to come up with a i'm using a uh, a old android as my teleprompter and i put it on a thing and i you have to put it about the same height as the camera so that uh your eyes look like is looking at the uh at the camera it's really difficult it's kind of creepy who people look right at you on camera so it's it's uh it's uh you know stuff you gotta learn and uh, again the quality of the video is is different so some of the f the fuzziness that i get with my green screen here just doesn't cut it on youtube so you have to light the background in a different way and it's just you need more equipment than live streaming you need you need you know you need more equipment so so i had to learn a lot and then i had to do the editing and uh and all that and and uh <clears throat> and it's uh thank you salty nymp thank you for a super hard salty nymp so so if you are you know if you're going to be broadcasting on uh, youtube uh contact me and uh you know we can discuss some of this and uh where are you from my friend well uh my friend i'm from los angeles where are you from <clears throat> you live in hollywood you should understand teleprompters by now i don't live in sucking hollywood <clears throat> Do you live in Hollywood and lighten up? You lived in the valley when you were here. Uh, you're from Dubai. Yes. I, w why is it Periscope is always a second or two behind YouTube? Uh, that's not usually the case. Usually Periscope is uh, is uh, the one that's uh, ahead. M must be just random. <clears throat> you you uh, uh, yes yes. So salty nymp. Uh, you know talk to me on brax.me and you know if you have any questions about some of the issues because it's it's really uh it's really you know it's a different animal and i'm gonna perfect it uh after a few more videos not perfect it but get a little bit better uh my i i did my first two videos you can go watch it on on uh, on youtube and i have to tell you after watching it you know i kind of think it sucks but you know it sucks but uh we'll uh we'll uh uh you know we'll see we'll see what happens uh in you know by next week by next week hopefully uh you know i i will have improved a little bit so so again uh uh come on uh i only had six followers during this broadcast so you know follow me on uh, subscribe to me on youtube because i need a i need a uh a thousand subscribers to to uh to make myself visible to YouTube, a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time. So far, I've only had eight thousand. Uh, sorry, uh, I've had eight thousand minutes. So that's divided by sixty. So, um, yeah, I'm at like three percent of my goal as far as time watched. Three percent. So long way to go people long way to go it's not like you know uh, periscope wasn't easy to build either i mean it took years I've, I've been at this for for over you know by summer i'll be at four years doing this that is a squash what do you think it is i have 244 subscribers right now on youtube do you think youtubers make too much money no they do not well, most uh, youtubers do not make that much money they'll you know they're lucky they'll make minimum wage okay uh, on my periscope broadcast i think i make uh five bucks a broadcast at the most no the 
No, I'm not doing a podcast. I'm doing uh, YouTube videos instead of a podcast. Second video showed good improvement from first, which I learned that fast. Wish I learned that fast. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm going to tell you by the time I make, you know, the third video and the fourth video, I'm going to be learning. I don't want to repeat the video. So let me see your nunchucks. Okay, so... uh, uh, I don't need nunchucks, man. Okay. Uh, what did you say, Dominic? Do I need nunchucks? No, I think... Uh, I don't think I need nunchucks. This, this works. What do you think? Is it our colorful personalities that keeps you doing it? Yes, it is. Uh, sexy honeys, I already have that. Here. We'll put them in a the corner. No, actually, I put them on the right side there. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, how? Why don't I give it to you? You can put it on your mouth, dumb, dumb king, dumb and king. There you go. So we, we gotta attract all the different crowds here, like the this uh, dumb and king guy here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, are we? Uh, uh, if there's any more, if if there's the, uh, if there's uh, you know no more questions on YouTube, then I'll I'll uh, get into the the second half of the topic. The second half of the topic is actually about what I put on YouTube, which is, uh, uh, it'll blow your mind. Um, what I'm going to, what I put on YouTube is Passwords 101, and I'm going to summarize what I put on there, and, uh, and you will, uh, you will see some of the stuff that you will have a question on, and I know you what the questions will be, so we're going to, we're going to discuss it, so. Passwords 101, the video that I put on YouTube, uh, well, they restrict Google. Uh, Passwords 101, the, you know, the, uh, the, the topic I put on YouTube is, uh, is a shortcut so that you don't have to follow complex rules for creating passwords so you, uh, so you don't get hacked. So wh- as you know, you have to be thinking clearly about what your passwords are going to be. Otherwise, you are going to get hacked. Uh, somebody just contacted me, one of you, I'm not going to say who, one of you just contacted me because uh, your, your, you, your Twitter account was hacked because somebody gets your password. Okay? Somebody just gets your password. And now, once somebody takes over your account, it is, you know, in some cases, almost impossible to get it back. So if you, you know, if you, if you don't understand that what I teach you is something you need to do in advance, not, not as a response, but something you plan out in advance, you're going to get into a problem. So you need to follow, my, uh, to follow the rule of creating a good password because this is the main thing that you're going to be hacked on. This is the number one thing. If you have a bad password, then what's the point? Everything else we talk about isn't going to matter. It's not going to matter. So, so, uh, so you know, if, if, uh, if you don't understand what the, some of the basic rules are, then you're going to have a problem. So, kind of the, a brief summary for you of of what the password video is about, and it's uh, it's only a few minutes long. Uh, there's actually a different kind of password needed for a for different purposes. So, where are you going to use the password? If you're going to use the password on an online application or online website, that's a different use. We're going to call that online versus a password that's going to be on your PC used locally. So if the password is going to be used on your device or in a file and it doesn't require the internet and it doesn't have any other force acting on it except for your device, then that is called offline. Okay? So you need a different password rule for offline and online so that's number one thing you're gonna understand okay now what what is the difference in rules it's because it is much easier to hack offline much much easier much much easier 
I'm going to give you a, a comparison. If you have a password such as a social security number, which is all numeric, nine digits, and you use it on a online website, and somebody tried to hack that and trying once per second, one try per second, it would take that person about a week to break in to your account using all numeric, a week online. So let's say that you're, you have a website and you set up a password on the website and somebody was able to try it once per second. They actually can't do that, but just let's theorize that they can. Uh, it would actually take a week for them to break it. To break it. However, if the password is used offline, just like my accountants, my accountant friends, what do they do? They send me a file and say, here's your tax return. And the password is the last four digits of your social security number. Are you serious? Okay, let's not even deal with the last four digits of your social security number because obviously, you know, there's less than 9,999 9 possibilities. Less. So we're not even going to talk about that, okay? We'll talk about the full social security number. That's nine digits, okay? Because they may think that you're more secure by passing you nine digits, okay? So if they pass you a nine-digit social security number, I'm going to tell you that on my video that I have on YouTube, I told you how long it would take that to be hacked. It's uh, 0.01 seconds on a standard computer. 0.01 seconds. If you have a supercomputer that can be hacked in 0 0.00001 seconds, or maybe I have a missing a zero in there. Maybe it's 0 0.00001 seconds. Okay? In other words, you might as well not have a password. Okay? So, so to the dumb accountant that sent an email saying, here's an attachment with your social security number as a password. And I don't need to tell you the password because you know what your, your social security number is. Then you say to that accountant, Zuck you, mother sucker. You are so zucking stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Okay? Why are you putting my numbers at risk? And now my personal numbers with my social security number is now open to zucking hackers to read on the zucking internet. So stupid. Okay? Are you that stupid Domin King? Are you that stupid Domin King? So, so there you go. So, so there you go. So the answer, people, is that you have to understand you just have to follow different rules for offline and online. Now, before I get into that, let me just tell you about passwords in general. If you put in a password to any website, the first thing that somebody is going to do is try to break it using a password dictionary. Password dictionary. They're not going to try to break a password using brute force, meaning try every possibility. That is secondary because that's too slow. The fastest way to break a password is with a password dictionary. Okay? And don't tell me you're going to use LastPass or KeePass or what, you know, as I find, you know, I'm on a new device or a different computer, I'm logging into a website, I don't have access to LastPass. And I don't know what the password is, so I can't use it. So I, I you know, I was trying to use uh, uh, PayPal and on a different device, and I said, "Heck, I don't know what my PayPal password is." Or I trying to, I'm trying to use Netflix. I don't know what the password is for LastPass, so that I don't have, I don't have it installed, so therefore I can't get in. So my way is a little bit simpler than that when you listen to me. At the end of this, you will find it's uh, easier to understand. And, and if you want to hear the uh, shortened version of this, go watch it on YouTube because I'm explaining it. Okay, now, uh, since the, the uh, best way to hack you is with a password dictionary, then the solution is make sure that your password is not in the password dictionary. Here's the question. What the Zuck is in the password dictionary? What the Zuck is in the password dictionary? I'm going to tell you. A password dictionary has anything that somebody has collected over the internet that's been used by somebody else. And I'm going to include the following. I'm going to include Wikipedia. I'm going to include any website. I'm going to, going to include any search item. I'm going to include uh, 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 any word in Webster's dictionary in all and then all languages 
not just one language, but any language, any lead speak, any words with one, two, three at the end, uh, any, uh, you know, keyboard, QWERTY, you know, all of those different combinations. You know, all of this have been used in the past. Any hack that's ever occurred where somebody has used that password. So if you're going to have a password that has baseball and football, then you are sucked up because obviously many, many people use those passwords. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, uh, Domin King, I need to open my eyes or not, I'm not going to get my, find my way back from China. And should I stick an egg wall up my ass? <clears throat> wall is popular nowadays. The point is that you cannot find, use a word that's in a dictionary. So the, the question is, well, if I can't use a word that's in a dictionary, how am I going to remember it if it's not a real word? And that's, you know, some people have, you know, they use mnemonics and any kind of combination like that. And it's really hard to remember. So I'm going to tell you just some simple combinations that will allow you to do it. Okay. You can actually make you know, a, 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 a short phrase, but just make it nonsensical. It's got to be, it's, it's got to be, start with a phrase that's nonsensical. It can't make sense. If it makes sense, then it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's not, it's, somebody else will use it, you know, like a long version. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, the the dog red uh you know <laughs> name a, name a book uh the dog red 1984 okay <clears throat> the dog red 1984 okay so does that make any sense it's not something that you know makes any sense to begin with cuz it's it's kind of a nonsensical phrase if it makes sense then you're zucked okay now you got your nonsensical phrase and make sure it has an uppercase somewhere in there. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter actually where. Okay. So uh, it could be the dog D. Okay. Just one is in a, even enough. Even one is enough. Just has to have it. So if you put a, 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 a you know, capital letter somewhere in there. Okay. You already got numbers. And all you have to do now is use special, a, a, a a special character underscore a asterisk uh, a comma uh, you know uh, a parentheses whatever you can put that anywhere else in in the uh, you know maybe it's the dog in parentheses red 1984 okay now look look at the the way let's see if that passes first of all First of all, you're going to say, uh, is it in a dictionary? Well, the word dog may be, but it's never going to find a combination. It doesn't make any sense because most people will find the sense by looking at current content, you know, like looking at things in, uh, in, in uh, popular content. By putting a special character, by putting brackets in and braces and parentheses and all that, it will definitely not make sense. Or maybe put the bracket under OG and dog rather than dog and then then you have a password that's not going to you know it's easy for you to remember but it's not uh, it's not uh, you know like random characters and numbers that don't mean anything because you'll never remember those i'm telling you you will not remember you will not remember now here's here's some of the rules yes kelp <clears throat> i'm looking there okay here's some of the rules that you you uh, you heard before and i'm going to tell you some of these rules are great in theory but from an application point of view you won't remember and if you don't remember something you're going to resort and go back to the old way and having a single ducking password and this is the rule that you are told to follow and it will never be followed the rule is make a different password for every ducking website who's going to follow that make a different password for every single ducking website i'm telling you right now no one's going to do it no one's going to do it and you're going to say, well, I use LastPass. Okay. What happens if you lose LastPass? <laughs> you're sucked on every sucking website because you won't even remember. You know, uh, LastPass, uh, quotes are sometimes a problem, MK. Uh, it's not a preferred, uh, some, some website will ban quotes and single quotes. You, I prefer using some other special characters. 
those tend to be problems because of uh, the way you're sent to SQL. <laughs> okay, it's very difficult to use a different password for every website. It's very, very difficult. And when it's difficult, nobody uses it. Uh, and lighten up, you have such long passwords and you have to, uh, 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 it's too complex. So my, uh, my way is short. You don't, uh, on, online, online, you do not need, for any online website, you don't need more than eight characters. Eight. Okay, the, your only goal is to not make it in a dictionary, but you don't need more than eight online. And again, the explanations on the video I have on YouTube. Okay, you don't, there's no way somebody can break an eight letter password online from brute force there's no zucking way you can do that okay you're not going to break eight characters you can break seven you can't break eight okay you can't break eight therefore you don't need to go with eight if you go nine that's plenty some of you are going 15 20 100 no need that's a lot of typing you're just going to make a mistake and you're going to have a typo and then you're going to come back and say i can't enter the password and you're going to say i need to reset the password because i can't enter this and then you reset the password to something you know and then you just destroyed your whole scheme again it's hard to remember this no you cannot use emojis okay so it's hard to remember this because that why can't you use emojis because it doesn't follow the rule of alphanumeric with a special character Emojis are not alphanumeric. Okay, so no emojis aren't gonna uh, aren't gonna do it. Okay, now uh, what about how many digits do you need offline? What do we need to tell our accountant? How many digits before an offline file like your uh, your uh, uh, <coughs> your your uh, tax return? How many digits before it works? Well, for an offline file, for an offline file, you got to worry about two kinds of attacks. A direct attack uh, with a standard computer and an attack with a supercomputer cracker. It's called a massive cracking array. If you, you don't actually have to own the massive cracking array. You can submit it to uh, some websites and they will do it for you. Just pay them some money and they'll do the massive cracking array for you. And they have the tons of computers that can do this. And you don't have to worry about cracking it yourself. So, uh, so if you, if you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, 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 tell your accountant what is the safe way. Again, the rule is always, always alphanumeric capital and lower with a special character, okay? Numbers, letters, special character, upper, lower, okay? In all the cases, that is the requirement. That's a minimum. You must have at least one of each. You must. This is, the must is the important word here. If you don't do the must, they can brute force you in no time at all. You have to do the must, okay? Online, eight digits. Offline, 12. 12 that's it some of you are saying 20 100 2000 no it would take somebody uh i, I believe something like a hundred thousand centuries or, or something like that to break it offline with uh, 12 no 12 no not more but it's not the better it, it's it, otherwise it's just pointless Okay, the reason it's pointless, I will explain when I get to, to how many passwords you need to set to create for yourself. Because instead of having 5 million passwords, one for every website, you actually need only four passwords. Something you're learning from me today, you only need four. That's not an impossible amount. That is not an impossible amount to remember. Four passwords, uh, most of them are eight digits and maybe an occasional one has 12 digits. Okay, that, th this, is the min this is all you need, eight and 12. Beyond this, it's not necessary. No, kelp, that doesn't work. Kelp, 
Let me explain to you why it doesn't work. Putting all long things does not work because it doesn't work for every single website. The more you extend the rules, then it doesn't work on many websites. Then you have to come up with another password. You have to find a rule that works with enough of them that you don't have to create another password. If you make something with 20, 30 digits, and you will find many, many websites and apps that cannot take 20, uh, uh, yeah, you have to alter the actual words, Van. That's what I'm saying. But simply, you don't have to have it complex that you can't remember it. You can alter with a special character. I didn't say sentences. I said words and phrases people are afraid of. Uh, words and phrases are, that make sense will be in the dictionary. You don't want that. Words and phrases are, uh, if it's an actual sentence, like, I like baseball, zuck you. That's, they'll find you. I love, I love sailing. Oh, zuck. You're done. Okay. I love basketball. I play basketball. My son likes baseball. Those are all zucked up passwords. Yes, I like zucking basketball. My son zucking likes uh, baseball. What the zuck? Doesn't make any difference. Okay? Because these are words that will be found in the context of the internet. No, you, you, that, that, many, I've seen that on the internet. That's not going to work. <laughs> they use FB to sign everywhere. That is so zucked up. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's a different topic. Do not ever sign up using Facebook onto a different account. I'm telling you right now. You want to be spied on? Don't ever use FB authentication anywhere. Never. Never. Don't ever use it. Uh, yeah, you can remember that, Van? How many do you have of that? Try to type that fast. Okay? Having long, long, useless things. And by the way, would that, that, that have any, everything on there? Nobody said you have to have 10 million special characters. Nobody also said you have to have, uh, you know, uh, 10 million numbers. All you need is one special character is enough. One number is enough. One of each is enough. As long as you have the right number of digits. One of each is enough. And there's a reason for this. It's just the way that it has to happen mathematically. So typing fast is important to security because if you make a typo, then you're going to go change it again. And if, if it's difficult to type, you will find a problem. Using multiple upper and lower, it's very hard to do on a zucking phone. Try it. Using a lot of upper lowers is very hard on a phone. Try it. I'm trying to give you a tip that will simplify your life. If you follow a short password, it will work for most websites. And you need only four. Now, what's the four? <clears throat> what's the four? Why four? Because I would set up a different password for financial websites. So for your bank, for your, you know, your E-Trade, your investment account, use a different password for all the financials. Okay? If any one of those get hacked, change it immediately, of course. Okay? So for financials, use a different, your PayPal, all that, use a different one. Okay? Social media, use a different password for social media. And you can use the same one for social media, as long as it you know, follows the rule. Then you need to set up a password for the useless websites. Do not spend any effort putting in passwords on websites that you're never going to go back to or that you don't really care about. For example, you're going to buy a product from uh, here, from my buddy, scopingproducts.com. Okay, you're going to buy a tripod from scopingproducts.com. Okay. Why do you need a complex website to go to scopingproduct.com? Why do you need to go to fancy uh, to use a fancy password to go to uh, to uh, some app that somebody on Periscope made? Uh, you know, like uh, I remember Beck Boop made a app. 
So if you log into BetBoop's app, are you going to make a complex password? People do not put fancy passwords in those because somebody will hack those because they're not secure. They're not secure. Are you actually listening to me, Kelp? If the website cannot be trusted, use a stupid password. Password 123 is fine. If the website is not trusted, use something in a dictionary. So the third password that you're going to remember is very easy. It could be something stupid. You know? Like, uh, like, like, uh, you know, I love baseball. Okay. I love baseball. Okay. Yeah. Many people have that passwords. What do you care? Use it for all those kinds of websites because you're never going to come back. You're never going to store anything important on it. You're, you don't have any financial data in it. You don't fucking care if they steal the data, which they will because they're not likely done by cybersecurity experts, in which case your, your password probably kept in plain text. Use the most stupid password you want. Okay? That's because Kelp will make you a website. Here's an example. Kelp will make a website like that and share it here in Periscope and say, come visit my website. And it's called kelpfarming.com. And you go to kelpfarming.com and it says, log in, please. And then you put your login. You put your complex password, which is the same one you use on Facebook. Well, he's going to harvest that and use it on Facebook. And then log into your Facebook account. That's called phishing. So in order to avoid this, if, if the party is not known or not a cybersecurity kind of app, Brax me, it's a cybersecurity app, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, don't use stupid passwords from Brax on me because obviously it's a secure app, okay? But if you're going to go to kelpfarming.com and he's asking you for a password, don't believe that you should put a serious password in there. Use a stupid one like I love baseball. Okay, then if Kelp said, ha, 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 I got a password, I got a password. Uh, uh, LastPass is th lots of complications. I still use LastPass, but, uh, but I don't want to rely on LastPass. I want, still want to remember uh, passwords where I can so that I don't have to make it so complicated. I'm a little bit different because, you know, I, have, I run, uh, you know, many, many websites and such. But I still want to remember some passwords. So LastPass is, is, is uh, to me, a, a last resort. I don't want to rely on it. I want to be able to remember, you know, a set of passwords that I will use for everyday use that I don't need to change every month or every week or whatever. I don't need to do that. It's not necessary. Yes, I love Lucy Slash. Yeah, that's good. No number. Say, how about putting one? Love Lucy slash. <laughs> so you want ease. No, kelp, kelp, kelp is not fucking again. Kelp doesn't want to pay attention to me. Just kelp will just say whatever. Kelp will just say whatever and not pay attention to me. And I'm telling you that I gave you an answer that allows you to keep it simple and yet be safe. Okay. So Kelp is like, oh, don't listen to this guy. Let's make our passwords more complex. The problem, people, if your passwords are complex, you will reset it. You will forget it. You will have so many problems with your sucking passwords. Okay? The, Kelp, be quiet. No, Kelp, I'm telling you that my system will work because it's the mathematical basis for it is what you have to understand. There is no way anybody can brute force anything that's eight characters uh, online if it's alphanumeric with at least one capital letter, at least one uh, special character. It is impossible for somebody to break that online. Okay? By the time they break it, Facebook will no longer exist. Neither will you. You won't exist either. Okay? So why are we wasting time with things? Nobody ever told you this. These are kind of the basic facts that nobody ever talks about. So they said, oh, let's listen to Kelp. Kelp wants to make it really complex. So we're going to have to make, you know, 100 character passwords with all numbers and letters. And you have to memorize that. Like, fuck you. And then change it every month. It's like, come on. Change it every month. See, that's a threat in itself. If you have to keep changing password and you make a sucking mistake and forget it, then you kind of missed the point. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, no kelp. What did I say? <clears throat> if it's in a dictionary, obviously, don't make it make sense. I love carrots is a sensible term. And you're using leech speak. Leech speak is also part of what you need to stop using. Do not use leech speak. That is not part of the rule. Do not use leaf speak and don't say I love carrots because that will be found on the internet. Okay? Find a, a uh, combination of words that don't make any sense. Gotta not make any sense. Okay? Leet speak. Leet. L E E T. You know, like. I ate, number eight. I hate, H eight. Leet speak. Yeah, spelled L three three T. Leet. With the three on the E's, yes. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, don't use leet speak. That's, you'll find that on the internet. So, you know, substitution of lead speak is, is going to be in a dictionary. So forget that. It's just got to be something that doesn't make any sense. And lighten up. Go ask. Go Google. Sometimes, sometimes you got to Google, uh, Google something uh, and lighten up. I'm not going to explain lead speak right now. <clears throat> if you're a young person, you know what lead speak is. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, that's all I was saying. Uh, that's all I'm saying, and you told me to be quiet because kelp. You're like, you know, miss, miss. Uh, you're like canceling out everything I say. You're saying, oh, he's saying this. Well, that doesn't make any sense, and it's like, you know, you're just making it worse. Okay, Van, use the duck, duck, go or start page. <laughs> okay, lead speak. L. There's actually an app, a lead speak app. If you wanna, if you wanna do a translation, use uh, use uh, there's an app, LeetSpeak, L, three three T. Okay. You know a lot of the uh, you know millennials use that LeetSpeak. Okay, you prefer Jeeves? <laughs> does that still exist? Okay, so th does that make uh, uh, does that make sense? Uh, you know. So we are, we are keeping it uh, simple, it works, it doesn't have to be so complex, and you're still not likely to get hacked uh, unless you used it before and it was one of the hacked passwords. Some passwords that may seem to be unique to you, but you can't use it forever because once there's a hack, you can't use that password again anymore. But for the most part, unless there's a hack and you follow my rule, which is don't, don't use that same super duper password on unimportant websites do not use super duper passwords on unimportant websites yes you are complex kelp you're always trying to cancel what i say it doesn't matter what i say kelp you're always going to say the opposite okay people actually ask me they heard me they heard me and say, who is this kelp guy? <clears throat> it's like, you are you know, to them, you're always beating up on me, kelp. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, uh, if you use a combination of, of word, actually, that's pretty good, Van. I can't imagine that's in the dictionary. If you delete any apps that you sign up to Facebook with, will they f be free of danger? Uh, uh, if delete any apps that you sign up to Facebook with, will they be free of, uh, will they free you from danger? If you delete apps you sign up to Facebook with, you mean Facebook apps? Yeah, I think, uh, well, it, it, if they collected your data, they already have it. But, but, uh, I believe if you delete a Facebook app, then no further future danger. Yes. Past danger too late. Future danger. Yes. 
Yeah, so I would be careful about what Facebook apps you use. You know, if you're using, you know, uh, Candy Crush, Farmville, all that. Uh, I would worry about those, yes, because they, they will try to, you know, steal your data as much as they can and sell it. It's a different scope, but understand that if you use a, uh, a app like Candy Crush and Farmville and every one of you are using it, and you're telling your friends, hey, use this app, and they're pulling out your data and then selling it to uh, Axiom and tell you Spokio. Okay? So, so no. That's one of the things that I explain in my, my broadcast. I'm deleting all of Facebook and wonder about any apps I use Facebook to sign up with. Oh, oh, uh, Starlight, if you're talking about you signed up to an app outside of Facebook and used a Facebook login, that's different. Your problem is if you deleted your Facebook account, then you won't be able to log into those accounts. You better find out what those are or they're going to be dead forever. Yeah, I actually did that. I had it, uh, I went to this, uh, in fact, I, uh, I remember doing it to LinkedIn as well. And then I couldn't log back into LinkedIn. So I had to restore the Facebook account. This was back in, you know, back in, I, was it Facebook? I'm not certain now, but something to do with, I know what it was. It wasn't Facebook, it was LinkedIn. I deleted LinkedIn and I used the LinkedIn login to log into some other website. And then, uh, and then I deleted LinkedIn and I can't log into the website. So that's a problem. It's anonymous browsing even possible today. Uh, different topic, different topic, but the answer is, uh, they will collect data about your device and your job is to make sure that they don't identify the data as being you. But you cannot stop that their data is going to be collected. What you can stop is for them to identify that the data belongs to you. So they just know it as data belonging to somebody. And then hopefully you can stop it there. Okay, that's why you need a VPN. I'm going to be doing uh, videos on VPNs and, and so on so you understand why this is important. I need to, to stop people like uh, Leo Laporte on YouTube. Leo Laporte and Steve Gibson are, of course, you know, well-known cybersecurity people on, on the Internet and uh, on YouTube. And they get, you know, a couple of thousand viewers a week on YouTube. Well, I got, you know, thousands of you here a day on Periscope. And I just got to get you to listen to me. Uh, because Leo Laporte actually went on YouTube and said, you don't need a VPN. And I, I listened to that and listened to his argument. And I said, this is a zucked up argument. Totally zucked up. Totally zucked up argument. <clears throat> uh, it's an old video. He probably wouldn't say that anymore. But I'm going to tell you right now, the argument given was so zucked up. I said, are you zucking kidding me? You actually are, you know. Uh, you're actually going to tell people that they don't need a VPN. Uh, you know, if you don't have a VPN, you're, you know, uh, you're, you are revealing yourselves in ways that, you know, I wouldn't even, uh, the Bob Ross of online security. Yeah. So, so I want to like, you know, but they're successful in YouTube. I'm not, they've been doing it for, you know, over a decade. I, I'm not, you know, I'm new on YouTube. So. So, uh, but I'm going to tell you, you know, that's one of the videos that I, I want to counter one of these days, uh, hopefully next week, to make sure that you understand that it's completely false to say that you do not need a VPN. And there was another video on YouTube. Uh, there's another video on YouTube that says, uh, you don't need a VPN. You need a proxy server instead. So you, you need to have a proxy instead of v a VPN. And another idiot. And I said to myself, you know, uh, how stupid could you be to say that you'd rather use a proxy than a VPN? And the, uh, the reason was he was trying to sell a proxy. Okay? He, the, the video was about selling a proxy and they gave you a link at the end. And I said, what the zuck? What a zucking lie. Because, you know, a proxy is not even encrypted. So you're saying to people, hey, go use a proxy where you can go search the internet and have it not be encrypted and somebody can track everything you're doing. Uh, and that's better than a VPN. And I was like, 
Wow, that is really stupid. Okay, that is really stupid. Here I have YouTube before and now a scope. Oh, you're you're uh, you're uh, you're the opposite, Joseph. Your what is what is your experience? Uh, truly, Periscope is different because you can you can uh, you know I can't have this kind of discussion. <clears throat> I can't have this discussion uh, on YouTube. This kind of back and forth is only possible on Periscope. Okay, so we we have kind of an advantage here in Periscope because I can actually engage my viewers and find out what you really want and you really need. And I I think if I'm if I'm selling a product, for example, I have a better I I have a better job a better chance of explaining precisely why you know why something is is going to be a concern to you or why something might be better for you personally as an individual rather than some general video. So there's the so a, a combination of both might actually be uh, be quite valuable. I'm going to find out, but they're actually quite different. The only problem with Periscope it's not really searchable. You know, uh, our topics here on Periscope are not you know going to be that visible on the internet. We don't come up in a YouTube search, so that alone is the 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 main main issue. Is if my if what I do on Periscope comes up in a YouTube search, then then we're done. Okay, and I don't, so I need to solve that. I need to solve that issue. <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> um, please, uh, uh, let me see if I, did I actually get any, you know, after thousands of people came in here and still nobody's following me on Zucking uh, YouTube. I only have 247 followers, subscribers on YouTube, people. Please support me. I need to get it to a thousand so that YouTube pays attention to me. I need to get a thousand people. And, and I, I'm telling you right now, I found out that YouTube doesn't actually do too much bad stuff with tracking you when you do something on YouTube. It's not, it's not uh, nearly, uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's actually not bad because you can delete your history and as long as you don't use your real name, it's actually not bad. Uh, yes, Kelp. Uh, you know what, Kelp? You know, I, I do, uh, I do, uh, you know, uh, think that you're valuable even to me because you're, the fact that you, you have this devil's advocate kind of approach is, uh, is actually, uh, uh, useful, useful for other people to hear the other side of the argument. So, okay, I just got one extra follower in there. So, please, people. Follow me on YouTube. It's Rob Braxman on YouTube. Yes. And, uh, and uh, you know, there's a logo on the top. Kind of that. There's kind of a... The, the Rob Braxman has it in, uh, in, in script. And there's a picture of a hacker. So please follow me on... Uh, do you miss the 90s internet? Uh, plastic, uh, you, you do realize that the internet came, uh, you know, in the, uh, well, I guess it arrived in the early 90s. <laughs> yeah, it was dial-up. Yeah, I guess it was the early 90s. Yeah, we were using uh, U.S. Robotics. U.S. Robotics modems, that's how you get to the internet. That's the fast way. 96 baud us robotics uh, subscribe to cbs radio no braxman there anymore uh no uh, uh cbs radio that the wbz radio is now uh iheart radio iheart radio usenet so anyway so so oops uh so so uh yeah, you know, it's it's uh I I need to I need to uh get some visibility. Help me, my friends, help me get visibility on YouTube and I told you I researched this. Things that I've done in YouTube even a year ago are not even visible now. So, as an example, if I were searching gun videos a year ago, I doesn't even recommend guns anymore now. So it means it forgot it when I cleared the activity history and it's not 
showing any sign that it's actually, you know, uh, remembering things that I've done, uh, uh, you know, uh, from uh, from two years ago, I was searching, you know, uh, naked women on YouTube, and now it doesn't remember that. So that's good to know. That's good to know. YouTube don't like guns. So I, so I'm I'm explaining to you that uh, it's not intrusive. And they, they uh, you're able to clear your history. You can back out and say, oh, you know, I uh, changed my mind. I don't want any of this to appear. Wipes it out, and then there's still more recommendations. Okay? Think of Zuck as the Lord of the Rings eye. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm going to have to do this like Alex Pettit. Let's get the numbers up, people. People, follow me on YouTube, people. Follow me on YouTube, people. Rob Braxman, Rob Braxman on YouTube. If you don't follow me on YouTube, you got I, I can't get visibility on these videos and I'm working hard to make for you and you will find new videos next week. All the deleted data goes somewhere. Uh, you, you see if uh, plastic, yeah, they, they may, but uh, uh, you know, take some other precautions like use a VPN. YouTubers don't know Rob is heavily armed. No, I YouTube doesn't know Rob, period. Hey, YouTubers do not know Rob, period. I'm, I, I don't exist. Right now, I'm a non-existent entity on YouTube. With 248 subscribers, even Duty Ron, Duty Ron has uh, double the followers I have. Duty Ron has double. Come on, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, people. So if you need to, if uh, help me, help me. This is, this is important because I will give it to you, back to you. I will give it back to you uh, with the, with the, uh, you, I can subscribe with new pipe. Uh, I will give it back to you because you will see videos that I'm making specifically for YouTube only. The topic today is actually summarized in a YouTube video. Okay, with an iPhone, I like the 911 next to Red Vines movie. Uh, where's my 1911? There. There. Does that help? Subscribe to YouTube or else. Okay, subscribe to YouTube or else. You should soon have sponsorship? No, I will not. You got to have... In order to get sponsorship and all that, you got to have at least a thousand sub subscribers and at least four thousand hours watched. That's gonna take me a couple of years. Is there a bullet in the chamber? No, but uh, I can fire it for you. You want me to fire it? You want me to fire it? I can fire it for you. Zero, zero, 008 1k subs I know I looked into it I thought it was 15,000 hours of watch time it's uh, uh, f uh, it's uh, 4,000 hours of watch time oh f uh, okay Donzo I'll fire it for you Donzo here I got you know you gotta use proper technique I mean you can't hold the gun like that okay okay uh, close your Close your ears now. Don't look. Close your ears. Don't look. Don't look now. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> so there's a hole now in my wall. My my wall has a hole now. <coughs> so he has certain skills. Uh, you sweep does. Okay. So. People, come on, follow me on sucking YouTube. Come on, please, people. <clears throat> Jay, are you even following me on YouTube? Come on, Jay. You know, I took out all the distractions for you, and you still don't follow me on sucking YouTube. What the suck, Jay? Look, took out all the distractions. You subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you, Joseph. So please, yes. Please subscribe. So Jay doesn't even subscribe me to subscribe to you. You are 
what kind of content you put out on YouTube. I just, uh, I'm making new videos, not the uh, summarized, very focused videos that I'm making specifically for YouTube. I already made two. I'm going to make uh, several more next week. So if you, uh, if you uh, don't sub subscribe to me on YouTube, then you're not going to see the videos. I do follow you there. It only takes a minute, people. Come on, please jump on the tube so that we get, uh, we get, uh, we get uh, you know, attention of YouTube here. Otherwise, I'm just a non-entity on YouTube. Do you end up getting a cold or is it still allergies? Deanna, what's up? You disappeared. Uh, piano videos on YouTube, but I'm going to probably move it to a different channel. <clears throat> you yes, Deanna, I subscribe to you as well. What about the video with the sausage scene? Are you going to show it? What is the video with the sausage, sausage uh, scheme? I, uh, uh, I have three YouTube accounts, but they don't all register when I followed Rob. Uh, it, it did register at Starlight. Currently, you have 13 views there and about 45 here. Uh, on my YouTube broadcast, uh, let's see, 13 watching right now, yes. 13 watching at the moment which is which is a good number for live yeah i don't know how many total but 13 13 uh uh watched uh are watching actively right now yeah and then here on on uh, periscope we have 3178 but that doesn't mean anything <clears throat> Okay, doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> uh, no, uh, I can't have a blue scarf because it will conflict with the uh, green screen. So I can only like wear red. No greens, <clears throat> no blues and greens. So I don't, I don't have that option. So like, uh, like uh, uh, I, somebody sent me a nice scarf from Scotland, but was green, which I can't use it with a green screen. So yeah, that's not gonna not gonna work here so yes people come on i have 249 subscribers i'm gonna try to be an alex pettit here and come on we can get this to 250. certainly one of you can subscribe is waxman on youtube i don't i don't know i i haven't seen him on youtube i'm going to subscribe to you but i don't use youtube you don't have to use youtube just uh just uh, subscribe and uh and uh you know <clears throat> get me recognized help me help me people this is this is helpful to it's very hard to change platforms i'm gonna tell you it's this is kind of a it's it's a hard struggle i'm afraid you need to release first to make it uh i can't figure youtube out you don't have to figure anything out what is there to figure out what is there to figure out with YouTube? You go in there and you hit subscribe. Yeah, it's not user friendly. Yes, I I have to admit, if you're a broadcaster, there's just it's complex. You, you know, everything is hidden in sub menus. You don't really know. One has to have a Google account to sign into YouTube. That is correct. If you have a Gmail account, you have a Google account. Did you comment on the Bezos story? No. Does it ever surprise you? People can be so careless with that. They send through the internet. Uh, send what to the internet? <clears throat> I can't imagine that people t in this day will not have a Gmail account. You, you, you know, I have many, many f Gmail accounts with all various kinds of fake names. What is the benefit to subscribe to YouTube? Because some of my my new videos will only be on YouTube. I already have two on there right now. It's only be it's only on YouTube. What tags? It's so easy to say. It's so easy to say put the right tags on YouTube. What tags should I use? And will it actually work? They will not pay attention to me. They will not pay attention to me on YouTube unless I have 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours watched. Okay? Because you're not a target for monetization unless you reach that limit. In which case, they're not going to pay attention to you. You're not important to them. Add some tags, keywords from the title. To the, yeah, yeah. This is like oversimplification. I wish, I wish it were so simple. The first one K is the hardest. Well, it. The, the, it I don't know what the secret is. If some people are saying that you know it's. 
it's easy and and you know uh it i don't i don't know we need some kind of controversy with a gun or something no because i'm not i don't come up in a search engine on youtube if i don't even come up in a search engine it doesn't matter if i'm you know you know, show some controversy. I already put a Zaku video in there and it's not going to show up because there's not enough subscribers. So come on, one of you got to bring me up to 250. Come on, one. Which one is it going to be? It's not Monkey Man. He says it already subscribed. So who's going to bring me to 250 on Zucking YouTube? Who will who will uh, do it for me on Zucking YouTube? I've used TubeBuddy before. Why do you want to use TubeBuddy? <coughs> this is so difficult. There, somebody just subscribed. Thank you for being... Who who became the 250th uh, subscriber? I appreciate that. Can Yes, I can see YouTube comments. Yes. Yes, I can see YouTube comments. I can see it on screen here and I can see it on YouTube itself directly. Yes, I know Monkey Man's here on YouTube. We have a winner. Yes. We have a winner. <clears throat> so, uh, so yes. Uh, let's come on. Let's bring it up. Come on. We got to surpass. I feel like Alex Pettit. <laughs> I feel like Alex Pettit. Why don't your videos have name below? Because that doesn't. Uh, that's not the way it works on YouTube. On YouTube, you actually have tags. You don't have hashtags. That's Twitter. On YouTube, they give you actual tags. You don't need to put a hash on it. It's in the YouTube video. If Spa Guy mentions she will get a few hundred, he helped a girl out and she now has over 2K sub. Now, why would Spa Guy mention me? Who am I? I'm nobody. Thank you for the 250... one 251 subscribers thank you sir derek thank you sir derek i appreciate it. and you i i followed you too on twitter <clears throat> by the way <clears throat> if any anybody wants to subscribe back on uh, on uh, on 252 thank you if somebody needs a subscribe back on uh, on uh youtube let me know just leave a comment and uh, i'll be happy to subscribe back to you it's, I'm at 252 right now. 252. Come on, people. I have multi-accounts follow, following you on at least three of them. Thank you, Angel. <clears throat> Thank you, Angel. So I need more people to, to follow me on YouTube and, and hopefully uh, organic ones, meaning not, not 50 accounts in one person. So, so uh, hopefully organic ones, you know, so... Because I actually will give you value. I'm beginning to make actual videos starting next. I, I, I don't want to buy subs. Do not want to buy subs at all. Do not. I have you on all 12. <laughs> okay. I <clears throat> I do not want to buy subs. I don't want to do an Alex Pettit here. I, it's got to be legit, people. Legit. Somebody just unsubscribe to me. Ah, uh, there. Subscribe back. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody unsubscribed and then subscribe back. Okay, so uh, uh, it's got to be legit. I'm not going to buy subs. No, I'm legit, completely legit. You know, if you do something that's fake, it's going to follow you forever. You'll be labeled as a faker. You know, many people here in Periscope, so many sucking fakers. Come on, people. Some of you have changed your ways. I've seen some of you stop faking it. Stop using Bobkov and so on good for you i praise you for that i applaud it and now i you know i i will consider you a good person again for not going resorting to the to the uh, fake i can't play that starlight i'm gonna be banned on youtube for playing that is everything fake in some way i don't want to be fake in some way <laughs> if i'm gonna attract your attention with uh with squash, I want it to be legit. If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hide it. I'm gonna, you know, being upfront. There, squash. If people come in because of the squash, it's legit because I'm not hiding it. Okay, it's not, you know, it's not. I'm not doing it surreptitiously. Uh, uh, where's some bling? 
heading over to YouTube. I've got 335 subs, so you're getting close. Joseph, I'm, I'm a loser, Joseph. What's the Zuck if you have 335 subs and I don't? What the Zuck? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Joseph, what am I doing wrong? I can't even get the, you just changed the color. Uh, wh what, the, what am I doing wrong? A lot of songs you play are older and easier to get permission. That's not true, Starlight. Absolutely not. They, they all have copyrights in the real book. They're all copyrighted. Need a cool hat? No, I don't have any hair. If I use a hat, then it'll look like I even have less air. Can't do it in one day? No, we can do it in one day. Let's get to 255. 255 people. Three more. Come on, we can do it. <clears throat> okay, so just to, to show you, I feel like, uh, you know, I truly am uh, doing an Alex Pettit here. But let me just tell you, Next week's topics on on uh, on uh, on YouTube, okay. Next week's topics on YouTube, okay. I'm actually gonna be okay. So I'm gonna be making one about a VPN. I'm gonna be making one about IP addresses. I'm gonna make one on email, and actually show you specifically so you can share to your friends to say why it's dangerous to have email because I'll actually you know paste it in there for you so you can see how dangerous it is and and uh, uh how you know your locations are stolen these are our uh, uh ip address lookups these are at least four topics that i already have lined up uh you know for youtube videos how can we do one login for both scope and youtube uh when you're on uh, when you're on uh, periscope you're seeing youtube comments right there on the left <laughs> You're probably going to get banned on YouTube for exposing Google's dark ways. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see uh, if they ban me for exposing uh, Jigsaw. Uh, but Google's behaving, uh, you know, better than Facebook, I'm going to tell you right now. You know, it's not likely I will attack, uh, it's not likely, uh, you know, I will attack uh, uh, Google in the same, the same way. We have 254 subscribers, people. Come on. We can make the 260. Uh, I have a uh, just I'll, every time I go near the piano, Deanna, I, I get uh, I get an allergy. So must be dust. Dust right here. No, I'm not sick. No, uh, but we are at up to 254 people. So so those are the topics I'm going to have. On YouTube, I have two right now, which is the subject matter of tonight. And and these videos, uh, I, I'm I'm getting better with making the videos. I'm getting better with making the videos. It's gonna get even even uh, even more uh, snazzy, you know. I even played. Uh, I uh, why does my phone want me to sign into uh, uh, my Apple ID? Uh, well, that's not connected with anything. Because an app is running in the background that wants you to connect to Apple. You can scroll topics on your background screen. So, so, uh, So on YouTube next week, I have uh, I have uh, so many videos that I, I'm uh, I'm uh, you know I'm already uh, uh, mapping out many many times on Periscope. Some of my old videos, like email, are so old, they're so far back, and you want to refresh your memory about it, and now you can't. Here's one of the questions you have, and somebody actually asked this a moment ago. Is it true that you cannot really hide your browsing on the internet? Now, a year ago, I would have had a different answer. I would have said yes. Uh, a year ago, yeah, you can hide your browsing on the internet. Today, no. You cannot hide your browsing on the internet. They will identify devices doing the browsing. What they can't uh, identify is who owns the device. I mean, that's the only thing you can do. 
So it's it's a terrible thing, and it's hard to do even that. So the battle actually is changing. The battle is changing. That's yes, the, that's part of the solution, hey, but only part of it. You actually have to plan this out. <coughs> uh, that would be in the dictionary, Van. That would be in the dictionary. So, hey, Donzo. Donzo is on uh, YouTube. So, use some Afran nose spray. <coughs> uh, is that uh, a uh, uh, homeopathic uh, solution? Let me tell you. Once I once I leave the piano, then I'm not going to have any issues. <laughs> once I leave the piano, then you know it will disappear. So anyway, so I have I have a lot of these big plans. I, you know, I have a a new setup now for making the YouTube videos, and so I will. Uh, you will find value in the subscription. That's why. I'm asking you to subscribe to me because you will actually find value in what I put on YouTube. It's not going to be the same content as YouTube. So if you think, you know, if you if you find value in what I I offer here, uh, you're going to find good free value uh, on YouTube. And the only thing I ask is to subscribe to me so, uh, so that uh, you will know when I'm coming up with these videos and, and they're coming in at the rate of one a day, uh, I don't know about the weekend, but one one a day on, on the work week. So, so you know, so come on, people, we're at two fifty four, and we can't get a single extra subscriber. <clears throat> Just one more, and it it won't hurt you, and it's not actually it's not scary. I I I, I want to make sure before I went to YouTube. That it's not scary to subscribe to somebody to make sure you get profiled. I have found it actually doesn't do that. I have found that uh, you know if you set your activity controls, you can actually clear history, uh, things you've searched a year ago, things you've done uh, even you know hours before. If you clear your cookies, it actually does disappear. So they're not being they're not being extreme here with. Uh, where they're tracking, they're only tracking you for the moment. So they're not l looking like some long-term whatever on, on what you search in YouTube. So, so uh, um, <clears throat> that's right, Ven, but it is in the dictionary now. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can see, I, you know, I can't even get to 255 subscribers and, you know, uh, you all get uh, you got over twenty subs today. You keep that up. Uh, uh, use a salt water nasal flush. These smoke cannabis. No, I do not, Darren. Yeah, subscribing isn't gonna hurt you on YouTube. Besides, if you mix it up, if you say, "Well, I'm sus subscribe. I don't want to be profiled by subscribing to Rob." Well, subscribe to my opposite. Subscribe to Maxine Waters. <laughs> So if, all you have to do is if you want to screw up the AI, you know, subscribe to uh, to uh, Maxine Waters and, you know, and to uh, uh, Zuck. Subscribe to Zuck. Okay? Yeah, subscribe to Zuck and Maxine Waters. That, that'll do it. And it'll say, oh, opposite day. Okay, we, we can't. Uh, well, you have told us not to trust Google this time. Uh, I told you that I actually tested YouTube. <clears throat> I tested YouTube, and uh, I was very uh, specific with my test. I used logged in, not logged in, uh, with a signed in account, not a signed in account, with activity controls, without activity controls, paused, uh, and uh, cookies cleared, not cookies cleared, and, and I was able to... Uh, now it does give me, you know, the videos from who I subscribe to, but it's uh, it's not invasive, is what I'm saying. Can you pack on YouTube? You mean 
You mean this? Can I pack? Thank you, Van. So, there. I, I'm packing now. <laughs> Do I need to fire it again? I already fired once. Do I need to fire it again? I don't want to have too many holes in my wall. Do I need more holes in my wall? I have like, uh, you know, a uh, target over there. I get like uh, sandbags. I get like sandbags in a corner of the house. <laughs> okay. Have you ever like realized, <clears throat> you know, if you actually fire a real gun in a house, how loud it's going to be? Staying at my parents' is a trip. They wake up super early and go to bed at 7. I can't keep my eyes open. <clears throat> Deanna, is that why you don't talk in Brax anymore? Squash sandbags. Is that why you don't talk in Brax? <clears throat> so, yeah, look. You know, I'm struggling here to get to 255. Uh, one more to 255. I can't even get it. <clears throat> so all this... Many, many people are coming in right now and, and I'm going to talk about some really important issues and some really good videos of which I've already started making on YouTube and there will be more next week. And I can't even get to 255 subscribers. This is, you know, it's just... I'm hopeless, people. I'm hopeless. Didn't, don't wave that thing on YouTube. Zuck! I'll have sweet dreams after seeing that 1911... There, sweet dreams. I can be categorized in the... Uh, uh, see, I lost a subscriber and I'm down to... Two f there. <clears throat> it went down to 253 for a moment. So, Zach, it's so hard to... <clears throat> you shoot only a crossbow. Uh, it's so hard... See, uh, look, now I'm down to 53. I uh, even lost a subscriber. I, I guess I, I'm so bad that they said, you know, I don't want to see guns. Okay, I'm back to 254. But uh, 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 <clears throat> come on, guys. I can get one more, one more. I'm staying subbed. One more to get to 255. And then I keep losing a sub. Somebody like, you know, <sighs> somebody just logged out, uh, unsubbed me. So I'm back to 253. Somebody's unsubbing me right now. Not, you're not liking what I say. I, I'm. I'm telling you. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, just my parents get irritated. So I can't be on my devices for very long periods of time. <laughs> what? Why are you noisy with your devices? I mean, don't you like uh, bring your uh, iPhone to your bed? And how is that affecting anyone? Deanna, if you're lying in your bed and you have an iPhone, that, that's supposed to wake up your, your parents? I, I don't get that. <clears throat> I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not like you're broadcasting. <clears throat> YouTube said what? What's the comment? Uh, uh, there's a little delay in seeing a comment on Periscope. That's a long delay in Periscope. The videos you made are, uh, oh, thank you, Starlight. I subscribe with my second account. Yes, but uh, the, the video, uh, I'm staying, uh, the comments are very delayed on, uh, on uh, Periscope here. You can actually pay your broadcaster to have your comments spotlighted. No, you're going to kill it on YouTube. No, unfortunately, it's not that simple. Are you in a safe environment? Yes, you can actually pay your broadcaster. <coughs> So, uh, <coughs> so anyway, uh, subscribe twice. So uh, I can't even get to 255 subscribers for such you know, important content I'm going to teach you. I'm going to really work hard at this. And this doesn't make me money. I actually lose money and time obviously doing this. And... Uh, And the only thing I'm actually uh, asking for is a little bit of support by having you sub to me, subscribe. 
Sending too many messages to take a break. There you go, Starlight. Mine should be the final one. Okay. So, thank you, Sir, Derek. Thank you. And you should talk to us more on Brax, Sir, Derek. Also, good word of advice. Google AdWords is useless. Uh, I am using Google AdWords and uh, not a single ad has appeared because I don't want to pay their exorbitant fees. So, uh, yes, there's a vent. I tried it a bit, yes. Uh, so so I put in a very, very low bid, and their answer is, we're not going to go put an ad because we don't like your bid. And my bid, it wasn't that low. It was like six cents. And, you know, six cents to watch your ducking video? Come on. That's a pretty high bid. Yeah, so I said six cents, and they're not, you know... It's not, they're not doing anything. Oh, I got the 255. Thank you. Thank you, Wolfie. Thank you, Wolfie. Thank you, Wolfie. So, so anyway, you know, this is, this is going to be a, a fun change for me because I'm still going to do Periscope. For those people, <coughs> for those people who, who expect that uh, uh, I will change my ways in Periscope, I will not. Uh, I will still be doing Periscope because, as I explained at the beginning of the scope, it does have a different value. But I will supplement it now with easy-to-follow, shorter videos. For those of you who don't have time, you know it's important what I talk about, and you don't have time to watch, you can watch the shortened version on uh, on YouTube with just a direct explanation. Then you can come here to ask questions. Okay, I'm going to have to call tonight. Okay. So then you 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 uh, you come to uh, you come to uh, <coughs> Periscope or YouTube live to ask the questions, and then I respond to you in a more detailed way, and we get more interaction. And you know uh, we're gonna beat PewDiePie on his uh, on his own game because you know they can't respond live. What I'm doing here is 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 understanding that some things have to be explained in a brief way, but that you guys need. To be able to come in here and uh, oh yes, I'll have stormy stormy for you. Uh, what's your name now, Sir Kalb? I'm so confused with your names. You're sucking so many names. <laughs> All it takes to get to get my, it's a popular person to share one of your best videos. And who's gonna do that? <laughs> who's gonna do that? Meaning you have to pay somebody to do it, and who do I know who's popular? Nobody. I'm not. <coughs> I'm not big on YouTube. I don't. You know, nobody on Periscope is big on YouTube. You shared, sir. Are you big on YouTube? Are you big on YouTube? You are the wild card. So thank you. We got to 256. I wonder if we can get to uh, 260 before I log out. So uh, I share on all platforms. So so. Uh, uh, I did a uh, intro channel intro video on my channel, and uh, I'm so bad at it. I mean, it's like you know, my first try, and you know, I feel like I, it was. It seems so scripted. You may have to clean your duck work. Well, I know Dennis Rodi. You mean Dennis Rodman? <laughs> I'm buying stock in Kleenex. Uh, you mean you mean I will buy so much of Kleenex? <laughs> You expect me to buy so much of Kleenex? So, so, uh, yeah, so. Sharing to Google Plus, it's a great way to get subscribers. I don't have Google Plus. Google Plus is dying, so what, uh, they're going to kill Google Plus. I don't understand how that's, that's supposed to help. So, uh, so uh, anyway, I told you some of the videos I have planned for next week. And, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to, to uh, not spare an expense to make sure the video quality is, is good. Uh, you know, may have to invest in an expensive camera uh, soon. I'm up to 257 now. Thank you. How to prank it up. That Dennis Rody, he knows Vitaly, ZDTV. And, see, I don't know these names, Joseph. They're like the... Uh, Alex Pettit, Alex Kant, and uh, and uh, Brie Olson's of the world. That I don't know. It's a different world. YouTube. 
the different YouTube is a different world. I uh, I'm up to two fifty eight. Come on, just two more. We're two sixty. Two more. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Three to fifty. Periscope is not that important because you know all you need on Periscope is squash. <clears throat> yes, I know. I'm looking at the. Uh, uh, I'm looking at that Canon G7X Mark II. I'm looking at that, Joseph. <clears throat> I'm looking at that. That's uh, that may be a way to up the game. Is use a uh, Canon G7 uh, 50, and it's portable enough that I can. You know use it for selfie camera as well so yeah uh so what else uh joseph what 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 other tips do you have for me a new youtuber if somebody shared your zuck video on zuck book too uh uh i thought that uh that uh, uh richard was sharing it on zuck book and nothing happened mine's in the shop it's affordable it's like only 650 now 650 is uh by 361 i don't want to do 360 because then you know what you're that's why i'm doing green screen so you don't see how dirty my house is okay <clears throat> my house is dirty so uh so so no i 360 stop working in periscope yes but i'm considering buying a uh, a uh, canon g7 you can use regular so i'm considering that so uh okay guys we're at 259 259 is one more sub one more sub and and uh yeah uh 260 i got the 260 thank you thank you uh uh dslr is nice but too bulky i love how compact my camera is yes joseph i i did look at the canon g7 as g7x and i'm actually uh uh 360 is very was when they did the swipe on periscope the 360 died and you know i can't use the 360 anymore and uh so i haven't been able to do a 360 zakia zakia uh, uh we uh aren't, aren't we going to work on your broadcast because uh you already set your brax portion right it, it the the next question is just how to do st your stream labs or your obs zakia you, you already set the uh, brax is already set all you need is to do to, uh, I'll, I'll make a quick video so you know where to put it. Okay, I'll make a quick video, put it on YouTube, so that you you know it's kind of basic, so you know how to you know we, you already filled in information correctly on Brax. The only thing you need to put in is take that link that you saw and put put it on OBS. That's it. That's the only thing you're missing to put it on OBS. <clears throat> okay, are you following me on YouTube, Zakia? trying to get to uh you know a thousand subs and i'm at 260 long ways away yes obs this i'm this is we're this broadcast is on did, didn't you do a scope on how to do to use obs no use brax and obs but not uh not uh specific about obs it's just how i used you know it wasn't detailed use of OBS. It was just a basic one. And then I have to do a one on Streamlabs. So you can do what I'm doing with YouTube comments on here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, but I got to stick to topic or they your, your channel. Uh, uh, yes, I did that. Derek, want to check my channel? I have that. I have an intro video that I pinned for new users. So I already made that. It's kind of, you know, kind of sucks but you know <clears throat> it kind of sucks but i you know i i uh 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 so joseph joseph please uh comment on my uh you know give me tips on youtube because you're you're uh, obviously more expert at this than i am but you stopped uploading yeah uh comment on my youtube and see if you uh you see i i have a lot of content you see that's the thing i'm i'm able to generate uh thank you uh van <clears throat> i i have a lot of content let me help you with your networking to blow your channel up i will thank you sir because i have uh you know i i have an unlimited supply of content i can talk about you know th <laughs> i have uh 
four years of Periscope talking here about so many different topics. It's just nonstop. I won't run out. If there's a new hack tomorrow, I will have something to talk about. So it's like nonstop. I will have an opportunity to talk about any number of things. Stormy can blow up the channel. Then get, get Stormy to, to uh, share my uh, broadcast. Get Stormy to share my broadcast. I appreciate all the help, people. And then I will share my knowledge as well to people who uh, want to make it big on YouTube once, uh, once I've learned here. There's a few things I've learned already. So, so uh, and some, you know, I have to buy, like... Uh, what Joseph is saying, getting a new camera. Wow, another, you know, and I have a nice DSLR with video, 4K video. It's a Nikon, uh, it's a Nikon from uh, uh, four years ago. And four years ago, apparently now a very old camera. And it's like, this sucker is still very good. <clears throat> Can you do 360 on YouTube? Yeah, but I don't want to do 360 period, Sir Kalb. I do not want to do 360 at all because uh, indoors it's not it's not uh, 360 is not made for indoor use. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good camera for taking pictures, but it's not good camera for YouTube. Oh, I know you don't. I'm working on something, Sir Cal. Are you? Uh, uh, I appreciate whatever you're working on. You do good things, Sir Kalb. Sir Kalb subscribes to everything I do. He has the social vision. He has the Tor router. He has the VPN. He's got everything I have. I will pick perfect video that people will relate to and share. Then it will, <clears throat> then it will grow. Okay, so you mean uh, you mean to uh, uh, put an ad to it? I wanted to hear you play piano too. Uh, I'm going to have to move that to a different account because the problem with the piano is that they will think your channel doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to move the music to my other channel. So I got to figure out how to do that. Okay. You have to move uh, music elsewhere because I want this channel to be primarily just content. Otherwise, uh, you don't show up in search. Upload frequency is important. Crafting the title and tag should correlate. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna be uploading. I you know this is all new, of course. Uh, somebody said that the upload frequency is not as big of an issue anymore. You you have 14 days. They said there's a new algorithm and it's uh it's you don't need to like <coughs> upload daily. That the, they compute the numbers in a 14 day period. So. <coughs> That's, that's what I heard. <clears throat> but what do I know? So I have a lot of YouTubes to watch. It's funny. Uh, Ask Spa Guy to mention you. Well, he doesn't know who I am, so why would he mention me? <clears throat> he, doesn't, he doesn't know who I am, so why would he mention me? So should I follow, should I subscribe to Spa Guy? Okay, I will subscribe to Spa Guy then. If that's his name, Spa Guy, okay. It may be working well for us to share your PSAs on different platforms. Yes, uh, Tony, th that uh, the nice thing about doing the the short versions, it's just easy to share. There's duration. Uh, my my new videos, the longest one is sixteen minutes, and the next one was six minutes. So six minutes, you know, I'm, I'm shooting for, I'm shooting for uh, around 10 on average. Okay, so that's my, my target number is 10, 10 minutes. So 10 minutes and then, uh, uh, you know, I have to compress it that amount. Yeah, because I don't want it too long. I don't want it too long, and uh, often my problem is not having it short. My problem is too long. Looping on scope, go, go in and come back, uh, leave and come back in and out. Need a combination of teasers as well as info bytes. 
uh, I don't know how to do that on YouTube. I mean, on uh, YouTube, TR Fun Guy. I, I don't know how to do. A, I don't know what a teaser does on on YouTube. Uh, hey, Ras Ras Seven, are you subscribing to me on YouTube? So everyone, please subscribe to me on YouTube because we are concentrating on making many, many uh, 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 new, many, many new uh, videos. They're going to be, uh, I'm making, he doesn't know who I am. So, <clears throat> so, uh, so, so uh, yeah, please, so please follow me on YouTube. Good question. Gnome, uh, quack gnome doctor say, what? I'm, am I losing the connection here? Five minutes of info on the subject intro and I tipped and say tune in for more. I don't know if that works for YouTube, TR Fun Guy. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah, I, I'm, I, uh, I can see the duration, but it's unfortunately mixed in with the live. I, I'm not sure how, uh, you know, how sensible it is because it's mixed in with live. Okay, I seem to be losing the connection here. Am I losing a connection? So I may have to stop this. Um, yeah, I'm losing connection. So anyway, I will uh, I will end this now and then I'll uh, see you guys. Uh, if it's sixty percent or higher per video then that's what you want in YouTube. Well, that it's it's a mixed number with the uh it's a mixed number with the uh, live. That's why I don't know what the actual number is. It's going to have to balance out with live. I hope they treat live separately. Okay, I I will uh, terminate the screen now the the uh, this broadcast now. And thank you for watching guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you back tomorrow, people. Hold on. I guess got to figure out how to turn this off. Okay. Good night. Good night, my friends.